Hello, 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 and well, well. Welcome to the... Ha <laughs> ha! That got him. Ninja. Hello, 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 and welcome to the Media Channel. I'm your host, William Hugh. <laughs> well, this week I had a message flood in from one of my viewers, a Ms. Kirsten McKay. Now, Kirsten was very intrigued by the Media Watermark. Now, if you don't know what a watermark is, it's like a sort of little logo or channel identification thingy, and it usually resides in one of the corners of the screen, or sometimes even at the bottom in the middle. Now, Kirsten wanted to know whether you could do this with Windows Movie Maker. Well, the short answer is no, you can't, because unfortunately, Windows Movie Maker has only one video track. And to do this effect, you need more than one video track so that you can layer videos on top of each other. However, having said that, you can pull off a bit of a cheat with Windows Movie Maker that will produce a very similar effect. And this is how it's done. Well, first, edit your film and save the video to your desktop. Now open your edited video in Windows Movie Maker and drag it down to the timeline. Now click on Tools, then Titles and Credits and choose Title on the selected clip. Now click Change the Title Animation and find the Titles One Line group. Then click on Subtitle and you will see an example will show in the preview window. Now click on Edit the Title Text and enter the name of your channel or the name you want to use for your watermark. Again you will see that the preview screen updates what you do. Now click on Change the Text Fonts and Colour. And here the first thing to do is choose an impressive font for your logo. Now this will depend on what fonts are available on your computer, but you will find them all here. For this example, I'm going to go for Baby Cruffy, which is nice and chunky. There. Next, use the justification buttons to move the text onto the side you want the logo to appear on. Or just leave it in the middle if you prefer. I'm going to put mine on the left side here. You can use these buttons here to alter the size of your logo. And that looks about right. And this button here lets you change its colour. I think I'll go for yellow. Finally, to make sure that the logo is not too intrusive, you can alter its transparency with this slider here. I'll go with about 35%. That looks good. OK, time to add it to the video. Just click the Add Title button and you will see your work appear down here as Title Overlay. However, if you run the edits, you will see that it only lasts a few seconds. But we need it to last the entire video. So click on the Title Overlay and place your mouse cursor on the right-hand edge. You will see a little double-headed arrow appear. And if you now press and hold your mouse button, you will be able to stretch the overlay to any length you wish. So grab it and stretch it the entire length of your video. And now just click play to preview your watermark. If you need to adjust anything, then a quick double click with your mouse on the little overlay will take you back to the edit panel. Then when you're satisfied, just render in the usual way and you are now the proud owner of your very own watermarked video. So there you have it, an easy way to watermark your videos using nothing but Windows Movie Maker. There's something missing, isn't there? Oh yeah, of course. Hang on. That's better. And I'll see you here next time on The Media Channel.
Nietzsche.